Good evening. Thanks for joining us. This week, we're starting our focus on the year that's drawing to a close and how it was for Manitoba's Premier and Winnipeg's Mayor. The province's top two political leaders took some time to look back on the year with its highs and its lows. Also this week, if you're looking for fun stuff to do with the kids over the holidays, you can see the prehistoric thrills going on at the Manitoba Museum. And for lovers of the printed word, you'll want to check out the latest ideas in libraries. A little lending box that's drawing crowds in a St. James woman's front yard. But first, the year that was for Manitoba's premier. Critics say Greg Selinger's reputation as a money manager is in tatters after breaking a promise to balance the province's budget by 2014. He sat down with Global's Peter Chura. I'm here to tell you to batten down the hatches. Uh, well, might be covered. Yeah, tie down the blue boxes and any patio furniture that might have blown away in, in Sunday storm because it looks like we have the potential for another very, very active evening. Severe thunderstorm watches in effect for pretty much all of central Manitoba and then out towards the southeast. Now this comes with a number of threats. Heavy rainfall, 50 millimeters or more. Quarter-sized hail and that could be quite damaging. But the biggest threat of all is going to be wind gusts, potentially over 90 kilometers an hour. So we could have a very, very active night in store for us into the overnight, much like we did on Sunday. It crossed over southern Manitoba, and as it did that, it ushered in a more westerly flow of air right along that jet stream. So that's what cooled us off a little bit in terms of the humidity levels dropping. As that cold front continues to advance, though, in front of it and along it, that's where we're going to see the best potential for some thunderstorm activity, and we've got those warnings in place. Beautiful cars. The uh, crowds are starting to build. A lot of people milling about. The hoods are up on a lot of these babies as well so you can come down and check out the undercarriage the engines the transmissions a lot of the owners are here as well so if you want to find out about these cars they're on hand to ask a lot of questions to and you can come down until nine o'clock tonight that's how long these cars are going to be on display and it's a beautiful night to do that let's get to our weather here in the heart of winnipeg on the banks of the assiniboine river sits this majestic architectural accomplishment the manitoba legislature but to truly appreciate the marvel that is Canada's most recognizable parliament building and to really understand the genius that went into its creation, you need to go inside where a story the likes of Robert Langdon and Indiana Jones resides and where clues hidden in plain view for almost 100 years reveal a series of mystical codes, secret messages and hidden symbols unveiling that truth is stranger than fiction. There are many reasons to make the two-hour flight to Churchill, Manitoba. But on this crisp November day, there is just one to see them. There aren't as many bears as there would be this time last year. Even with fewer bears, I alone snap over 300 photos. A bear playing. <laughs> a curious bear jumping up on a tundra buggy. And one who just wants to sleep. pressure has pushed off to the south as you can see but we're still enjoying being under that ridge and it cleared the sky so the sun was so intense today and it allowed our temperature to skyrocket to well you saw them earlier 29s and 30s. Sprague is really seeing a lot of snow places like Steinbeck as well and they will continue to see snowfall accumulate through the overnight hours. Our rain will turn to flurries overnight and we could see two to four centimeters wow. here. Wind is going to continue to be a major factor. Rockwell's career spanned almost six decades. During many of those years, he worked for the Saturday Evening Post, a current affairs magazine where Rockwell did the cover art and where he liberally explored the issues of the times, even if it meant skirting controversy. There was a lot of issues he discussed, um, politics, race, um, religion, social, that dealt with what was going on in the 20th century. Then there's the guy who's more interested in catching some rays. He brought his own couch to the river. What are you catching today? Absolutely nothing. Nothing? It, nothing. I, I lost one and uh, that's about my only hope for the day. So one bite? One bite. What about your neighbors? How are they doing? Uh, you know, uh, my fiance there, she lost one and then that guy caught it. I ha She had it, he caught it, then I lost one. Okay, so allegedly you got a bite and you got the same, yeah. same fish. The same fish. Allegedly. Uh, of course. Some other guy caught There's, it. They, all, all, all the fish are by my place. You got the couch, the dog, the fiance, and the fishing rod. I think, you, are you, you know, I, like Steve Martin from the jerk? That's yeah. all I need. <laughs> the Freemasons are the oldest and largest fraternal order in the world. They believe they are descendants of the great temple builders of the past. The Masons built the Manitoba legislature, pouring their history and their mystery into its foundation. Albo believes what rose from there is a replica of King Solomon's temple and that it was constructed in honor of two deities. 
Very cloudy, light showers throughout most of the afternoon, and very, very windy. Uh, we're in between two competing air masses right now, and that's creating this pressure gradient, so why we're seeing so much wind out there. It's interesting. I'm going to show you a few maps, and you can actually see where this dividing line is between those two air masses. Here we go. This little bit of activity that you see there, that's what we call lake effect showers or lake effect flurries. So places like Portage La Prairie early in the morning, Gimli, you could see maybe just some precipitation. But watch what happens when we move into the afternoon. Oh, clear skies finally, sunshine, but cooler, and a little bit breezy, not anything like we've seen in the last few days, however. Back to the game tonight. Winds will be the big story. The temperature will be quite pleasant. We're expecting about 18 degrees at kickoff, and that's in about 45 minutes from now. So go blue, and if you are coming down, there's still tickets available. Put on your uh, shirt. I'm rocking the Edwards jersey tonight, and uh, don't forget your cowbell because you've got a lot of competition here tonight, obviously. Peter? It's a beautiful night down here. You know, there's actually very few clouds in the sky. We are going to get some increasing cloud tonight. We're going to dip down to 13 degrees, but all in all, a really perfect day and night for the opening of the Peony. And as you can see behind me, there's still a fair number of people milling about with their wares, kids looking very tired but satisfied. And I actually wanted to show you the crowd earlier tonight at one of the free stages. Hundreds upon hundreds of people really got treated to an odd spectacle, you could say. No, that's not Brian Adams. It's not the Beach Boys. They played earlier. What these people are watching is a band fronted by a very famous Academy Award winning actor. And coming up in weather, I will bring you uh, all the details of when we might see some precipitation here on the south coast and the answer, Gina, to who that famous musician is. So not too much precipitation we're expecting, but there is a chance. And then we are going to see that ridge of high pressure build back in into Tuesday and Wednesday. And then Thursday and Friday, we could see things go back to being unsettled. So just a little bit of rain that might creep in tomorrow. And then Monday, Tuesday, we will see more and more sun peek through. Now, I know everybody's been wondering, who is that mystery man that was fronting that band earlier this afternoon? Well, let's take a listen. Yeah, Kevin Costner that was. Yeah, Academy Award winning actor and director, animal advocate. And Gina, did you know he was a musician? The people really, really enjoyed his music this afternoon. Well, go figure. Multi-talented. Exactly. Thank you, Kate.